It's been a bit tough at times lately being a fan of the Blues and the Swans, but a new week is here and a bright day in Melbourne is reason for optimism and even a smile. Good afternoon everyone and welcome to Saturday Footy. It's going to be fascinating to see how the Sydney Swans in particular respond to a week of criticism of their style of play. They take on Carlton today and uh, it's going to take on Michael Christian. Good afternoon, Good Christian. afternoon, Hutto. Yes, looking forward to this. It should be an intriguing battle with the Swans, as you said, criticised for their lockdown defensive style of play. But the Blues, in fact, employing a similar game style last week against the Crows. So looking forward to it. Are you a critic of the Swans? Are you a critic no, of the style? No, no, I'm not critical of the style yet. I'm going to be watching with a lot of interest today because I think their main aim is to get the ball quickly into their forward line because it is star pack. We'll have a look at it in a moment. But there's Michael O'Loughlin, Barry Hall, of course, Adam Goods just there, O'Keefe, and Nick Davis back into the side today. Have a look at that banner. Robert Walls uh, gets a mention <laughs> on the banner now. He's really made it with our backs against the walls. Let's stop the rot. Show them what we've got. As we said, plenty of criticism coming from some commentators, including our own Wolsey. Well, let's get down to Andrew Ma, and he's with the Swans coach, Paul Roos. Thanks very much, Hutto. You must look forward to game day. You can stop defending yourself against the way you play your footy. Yeah, I'm looking forward to it. We were terrible last week and uh, probably deserved a lot of the criticism we got during the week. So hopefully the guys can come out and play a lot better today. Do you get a sense of the players get a bit wound up by the criticism? Well, being in Sydney, they're probably a bit immune to it at times because unless you actually read the papers, the Melbourne papers, we don't really get it. So, But they just they know they play poorly and we know we have to play better. And David Spriggs, the late withdrawal? Yeah, unfortunately, just the real tight hamstring, so uh, he's been replaced by Nixie. Good luck. Thanks for your time. Back to you, Hutto. Thanks, Andrew. Yes, the one change in the Swans team. The Blues are unchanged. And look, they were pretty good last week. They actually had a, a real chance to... Uh, to, uh, to win the game against the Crows early in the last quarter. They did indeed, and it's been a tough few weeks for them. It really has, but uh, big challenge for the Blues. A game they really need to win. Well, there had been a doubt over Nick Stevens. He was uh, crook during the week, but he is out there and will line up. So let's get into the lineups, and we start at the uh, Carlton end of the ground, and uh, they've got plenty of variety up forward, and a lot, of course, will depend on Big Brennan. Yes, of course, he's kicked 23 goals, 18 for the season, averaged almost six marks a game. Is such a key to their four line. As is the man at centre half forward, Lance Whitnell, has averaged just 13 disposals this year and four and a half marks. They need the Blues need Whitnell to be really firing. Good support there from Walker and also Jared Waite. But if Carlton can get the ball in there and Lance Whitten will give them an opportunity, the uh, Sydney defence are going to pretty, find it pretty hard to curve that Carlton forward line, particularly Whitnell and Favola. All right, from the forward line of Carlton to the midfield then, and uh, let's have a look at the uh, matchups here and how you might assess them. Scotland back in the team today after a week in the VFL. Yes, and the Carlton captain there, Anthony Curtafides, has won the most disputed balls this year in the AFL. Chris Bryan, big job for him coming in for game number one, the 23-year-old from Frankston. A bit of class there, Nick Stevens, against the best tackler in the competition, Brett Kirk. And of course, uh, Scott Camparelli, what a matchup that will be against Jared Crouch. And you'd have to say in that part of the ground, the Carlton have the class factor. All right, points to the Blues. Of course, the Swans have been known for locking down, so we'll see what matchups are ahead of us today. Barry Hall is captaining the uh, Swans today, and it's uh, a pretty star-studded forward line. Yes, and Barry Hall, of course, he's uh, done extremely well. He's got a very good record against uh, the Blues. Adam Goods at centre-half, forward as a star. Ryan O'Keefe, Nick Davis uh, back in the side. He's averaged three goals in his seven game this year, and I think that's the area of the ground that Swans have a big advantage. Yeah, I mean, if their midfield can give them enough supply, that's uh, what's going to win the game for the Swans. They're, they're star-studded forward half. Lachlan could be a danger there, couldn't he? He's in reasonable touch if they get the ball in and up. All right. Well, the benches as they line up: uh, Vogels, Ball, Nixon, Buchanan, and uh, a couple of spare defenders there, or maybe a spare forward in Morell's case for the Blues. Also, Clark and Davies. All right. Also, looking forward to uh, seeing the young man from Carlton, Chris Bryan. Apparently, he's got a thumping left foot kick that is, uh, I was told, bigger than Ben Graham's. Is that right? Yeah. But uh, starting in the ruck, and good luck to him. Melchesky starting up forward for the Swans. A week of criticism for the Swans comes to an end as they get a chance, but look at Brian charging through. He didn't get a, a real opportunity to see his powerful left foot there, but he's going in after it again. Scrapping hard. McGrath, Walker, Houlihan, and the Blues are away. Scotland got a reprieve after one week in the VFL, and Whitnell. Possessions last week for Lance Whitnell. Four free kicks he got, and 
including one goal from the free kick. He needed a boost of confidence, doesn't get it. Any surprises that we've well, picked out structurally at this stage? Well, Livingston has the big job on Barry Hall. I, might, I thought maybe Thornton would have gone to uh, Barry Hall, but Livingston has the job on him. Keneally kicks in. Mark taken by Matthews. Now, Keneally stayed at home in his defensive goal square. Gets it back and then chips towards half-back. Well done, Ablett. So not much movement ahead of Ablett. Blues really man on man, aren't they? They're trying to lock them down. Well, they are, football. They are one of the matchups. Is Kudafidis and Goods? That should be a great contest if that works out that way. Keneally kicks to Goods, and Kudafidis just lost him there. Now Goods goes back and across. Matthews, hallmark of Sydney's play. Now he goes for Barry Hall on a long lead. He marks in front of Livingston with the job. And that's what Barry Hall has to do all day. Keep leading up towards the ball. Back to Goods. He drives it long to the top of the goal square. Big chance, O'Keefe, okay, but in front, almost Brian. Betts, what's he doing there? Handball off to Stevens. Handball into the back pocket. McGrath. Oh, gee, it was a high kick. Will it land just inside? No. So, just trying to kick the cover off it there, McGrath. So, the free kick will come back to Ablett. The umpires this afternoon, and he kicks it in short, and good lead offered by Jolly. And Jolly's got a do that he's got to draw Brian out of the defensive goal square he did it with great effect there probably too far out to score Nick Davis back in the side this afternoon such an important player O'Keefe wants it long Jolly to the goal square getting across Whitnell takes a strong mark and he will leave the pressure as the Blues escape from their defensive zone Camparelli and now Bentick running for him and also Scotland Waite pushing up on the wing, through the middle. Whitnell's kept on running, Ablett a chance to clean him up and more importantly, affect the spoil. But there's Blues everywhere. Walker, poor handball. Oh, oh no, Kirk. Kirk. Great start from Kirk. Was that a free kick? Yep. Was that a free kick? One of them was the first one. Coming back to Kirk. Great courage, wasn't it? Eyes on the ball. And great to see Brett Kirk do that. He does it every week. Just the fumble. And Walker just a little clumsy, perhaps. Now, spots up Bolton, who's not just intrude into the forward line here. Gets it in quickly. Jolly again, the target. Four goals, one for the year. Started in sensational style, kicking three against the Hawks. And he had 15 possessions, but hasn't quite been able to reproduce that sort of form for the rest of the year. Good contact. And the Swans have got one on the board early. Robert Thompson on the mark, penetrating kick towards half four, but clearly getting across takes the relieving mark. Yeah, he peeled off and was an extra man back in defence, stretching out and trying to run and link here the Swans. Goods has had plenty of it early. Good work from Jolly and now Davis in quickly. O'Keefe's got away. Had a yard on McGrath and has time now to try and spot up through the middle. Good running. And he joins that famous club. First goal. Carlton fans say about time as he swings it through the middle. A more promising build-up. There's that left foot from Bryant. Boy, it's got some penetration. Down to Favola. Good body work initially. Barry got good support from Crouch. Scotland. Bentick. Waite was charging out. O'Keefe committed. In fact, all players involved committed. McGrath trying to get it down to Cooter, who's floated forward. Instead, tailored it, hoping for Whitnell. But Goods able to try and sweep up for the Swans. Kennelly, the danger yet to pass. Rode the first pass. Oh. Kept on going and dashes out of the fence for the Swans. Linking up nicely with Bolton. The centre half forward. Barry Hall's got away. Open He's just outside screen. 50. Go for home, captain. Swans. Hall to do the battle, the ruck work against Brian Livingston adds support. Davis doesn't miss these. He snaps around the body. It's close, but it's home.
Five and a half minutes to go in this opening term. Ball with the tap. Scotland left it for Teague, who started on the bench. He's on the ground now, as you can see. Betts will try and pick up the crumbs if he can, but there's not too many crumbs as the Swans hang well, They're in a bit of pressure now. Bolton's got a problem. He is. Well, he would have been gone, but well done to get it out now. Betts swoops. Needs to kick a goal and does. They did it hard, but they got it. Jason Ball, so the margin back to 17 points with the Blues finally on the board. Brian, favoured by the bounce, gets it to Scotland. Carazzo assesses his options, then hoists it very high towards half court. Out comes Whitnell. Dalton fans will love to see that. Camparelli on the end of it, weight drifting into the pocket with courage. And 25 metres, he kicks the goal to the Blues. They're second in a minute. Now some points there to Luke Livingston. And he moves it quickly, Carazzo. Floating out of defence, a drift on the wing. Hits for Vola. Hit him too hard for Vola, couldn't hang on. He tried for dear life. Now Barry and Bolden runs and went backwards. He must not have had many options at that stage. And the Swans again. Got numbers in the middle if he walks inside. And he does do that from Bolton to Bolton. And he's got Ball pushing forward. Will he try and use him or go longer to O'Loughlin? There's a man in front of O'Loughlin. The kick was very poor. And so Ablett has to go in there, got a high tackle. He did duck, but it was high contact. There's no problems there, though. Luke Ablett kicks the Swans fifth. Well, he just go along. He does. Have a look at that one. Almost to the centre of the ground. Prendergast coming in from the side. Couldn't hang on to it. Matthews' hurry kick could be very effective here. Buchanan and now O'Keefe. Ah, oh, once again, Livingston doing the hard things. O'Keefe takes it to the line. Did well there, Luke. The smother and to Luke. force it. Yep. First Luke name basis with. <laughs> well, I do know him as Luke. <laughs> Is there anything wrong oh, with calling their gonna, first name? Are you going to call them all by their first names all well, afternoon? If, if or you just... like. Okay, yeah, good. <laughs> right, we'll see what happens. Well done, Luke. Barry. Barry takes it. And Barry kicks a goal. Two goals to the captain, Barry Hall. And the Swans have got six on the board, and this is not the lockdown we thought it might be. Quite a free-flowing game. Well, a couple of goals here from boundary throw-ins inside the Swans attacking 51 to Davis, and now one to Hall. You can't allow someone to take the ball out of the ruck at a boundary throw-in close to goal. Scott Camberelli takes a, a seat. So... We're underway, second term, won by Jolly. Chance for Prendergast, handball missed the mark, but he'll get the free kick. Very impressed in the first quarter with Chris Bryan making his AFL debut. And it was fantastic, six possessions, a couple of marks. The kick from Prendergast is very good. Carranzo's got it. Now he's been called to play on here and gets around Davis. Did it very well, chips to Whitner. Well played, Carranzo. Well, kept his head, kept his composure and finished very well. So Whitnell now from about 45, in fact 50, he kicks it, it's swinging back and squeezes through. Great start for the Blues. With pretty sure hands. And now McGrath's got a couple of Blues to aim for. One of them is Prendergast. And now Houlihan. And some space to work in for Heath Scotland. Time to try and hit up Whitnell, who doubles back on his lead. That time the old... Wiley Shawville was able to read the footy coming in, takes the mark, and he goes quickly to McVeigh in the middle. Now he's got Malcheski away, and he's got space to work in. He's got a man in board, Kirk, or the leading hall. So Barry Hall going for number three, and threads it comfortably, and the Swans respond. Jolly. And the Blues, good hands in tight. Now Whitnell. There's a vacant square. Blues fans wanting him to either lay it off or go for home. Trying to squeeze it through to Walker or Waits. Oh, well done, Waits. He's such a strong mark out in front of his body. Wait to shoot for goal. And the Blues sneaking back. Brian's done it all day. Stevens get another clearance to Blues out wide for Vola on the end of it this time he marks he gets the free kick in fact 
against Barry. Did Two. well. Great mark by Favola, but very well done by Barry, who made him earn the kick. Brendan will know all day that Barry will be... Whitnell into the pocket. There's a 3-1 from set chances. Whitnell from 40. Just stabs at it a bit, but it swings back. He's put it through. Great stuff from Lance Whitnell. It's called so, dropping the ball. Free kick to Bentick for the Blues. He kicks high to half forward. Bolton a little push out. No free kick. Craig Bolton. Shawble sweeps the handball out wide to Kirk. Kirk now taking his time. Kicks and Thornton should drop back and mark. Just lost himself a bit there. Lach Lachlan applying the pressure. Malcheski, well done. Hard up against the line. He's got players inside. Matthews and Davis are there. Can't control it. Betts arrives. Well done, Cavarelli. Soccer's clear. Morell all by himself. Now the Blues a chance to create something here with a bounce. Long towards half forward. It's all swans. Craig Bolton misses the mark, but they've got numbers at ground level. Jude Bolton, Craig Bolton, now Roberts Thompson. Slips it into the centre. Kirk, they can set something up here, Sydney. He kicks wide, kicks poorly. Now Chesky, they turned around and found the football in his lap. So it needs to wait for an option here, Carlton. They've got numbers back. Yeah, they've got... Five on three in attacking 50 at the moment. Malcheski kicks oh, short. He looks good, doesn't he, Malcheski? He, he does. does. Both, the, both the young men that have made their debut today could hardly have been more impressive. And just some breathing space here if he can convert for the Swans. From 50, he loads up. That's a beautiful kick off the boot. He's kicked it. The Swans by three goals. Ball gets this one down. Stevens knocks intelligently to McGrath. Well done. Great tackle coming from Ablett. McGrath, though, was able to find the footy on the ground. Kirk, Ablett again. Around the body, hurriedly onto the Chester Hall. Comes in, swings back. He's kicked four. Swans extend their lead. Ball is almost marked by Eddie Betts. Play on the call. Whitnell trying to invent some path to goal there with a the handball over the head. Was that high over the top? Because it was crude. It yeah. was just unnecessary, wasn't yeah. it? Sloppy stuff from one of the best in the business as far as tackling goes. In fact, he is the number one tackler in the competition. Brett Kirk. This time, just uh, didn't get the wrap around in the right place. Didn't, did he? He was always going to struggle to get the ball out there, Prendergast, but uh, easy to say when you're sitting up here. But Brett Kirk just overly reckless. Nine possessions for the day for Ian Prendergast. Four. Oh, somehow he falls into the lap of Brendan Favola. Only three games in the last three seasons where he hasn't at least kicked one goal for the day. So it looks like that's not about to change as he rams an important one through. Favola trying to grab it out of the ruck, but Goods had the edge. And now Kirk back to the middle. Brian charging at it, but Bolton able just to smash it into the space. One on one down there. Teague and Davis. Davis and Teague. Thornton. Oh, well done. Lassoed in by Davis. Play on. Great forward pressure. Could result in O'Keefe goal. But they all go to Nick Davis. Well, he's come off every quarter at about this time. So, back in the centre. Now the Ruckman get a hand on it. Jolly, second attempt. Knocks it forward. McGrath's been good in this quarter. A great tackle earlier on. High to half forward. Stevens, clever. All class. Turns Ablett inside out. Then kicks to Favola. Can't take the mark. He's been paid. Very quiet in the first half. Leo Barry did a wonderful job. But here he is, 25 metres from goal. He comes in and pops it through, so the Blues back to within three goals. Plenty going on off the ball, you can see the Carlton players starting to mount their charge towards goal. Can they find one? No, they can't. Ablett, good delivery. And again, inside, must look inside. Melchewski's got oh. three or four runners inside. Ignored them all because he had two or three outside as well. This is Ryan O'Keefe, sets it up. O'Loughlin should get it, does. So Carlton just can't get past this three or four goal barrier. It's back to four with the O'Loughlin goal. So the margin, 24 points in favour of Sydney. Ball 
on the ground to do battle against Brian. Brian hacks it forward. Robert Thompson goes in hard. Well, he's a free kick in the meantime to Walker. Over to Brian. He's a thumping kick. He's kicked that 65 metres into the goal square. Whitnell makes it. his chest. Turn around, kick and go, and he does. So the quick reply by Carlton. Again, Chris Bryan, the Ruckman from full back. I don't think I've ever seen that before. Ruckman kicking out, oh, and that's probably why. Again. No, over the head of Jude Bolton, Teague mops up to a nest of Carlton players. McGrath, now Hand, good run provided by Carazzo. Good chase from Jude Bolton, but Carazzo up to it. Scotland, now Hand. they use it pretty well and advance to the wing, the Blues. Whitnell in front, Mark Strongly. Over to Morrell, they're a chance here. Walker back into the goal square. So is Wait, 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 Wait. Kicks another one. The Blues two in a row. A margin back to 13 points. Canelli to Craig Bolton. He's got Ablett loose on the wing. And I thought about going. Should have. Didn't. So now Carlton are able to get numbers back. Ball wants it long. And eventually Ablett obliges and kicks on to Hall, who takes. Mark number 10, in towards Matthews, inside attacking 50, O'Loughlin just slipped McGrath for a moment. And that was all it was, that's all it took. Great kick. And a happy Swans fan there, and Barry Hall again involved, 10 marks, 14 possessions for the captain. And great work, as you said, Steve, by Ben Matthews. Yes, uh, Mickey O'Loughlin just led his opponent to one side, knew the kick was going to be back on the other, and... A fantastic kick from Noble Mickey to take an easy grab. So Lachlan kicks and kicks accurately. He's kicked two. 17 points the difference. And it's going to be the Blues with one last hurrah here. I think if they could nail one before the final break, we'd really have a ball game. And Brian continues to impress. Possession number 17 coming up. After six marks. Watch for Favola. Was that a nudge? Play on was the call. Here's Jared Waite across the body. Oh, he's got it. Oh, they've got a sniff now, the Blues. Jason Ball. And there he is, Chris Bryan. What a star. Six marks, 17 possessions, 13 hit outs. Margin just 11 points. Brian again, towards half forward, Walker, Lappin, well done Crouch, chased him down, handball out wide, Keberle has been pretty quiet, hands off to Teague, who loads up the 40 and kicks another one. So final quarter about to be underway. Brian's been fantastic, neither Ruckman touch it, Kirk. Jude Bolton's been great for his side. Towards Hall at half forward, he can't take the mark. Was it an arm over the shoulder? Not according to the umpire, who keeps held up and will get a oh, free kick. It's got to come back, but it's a Carlton free kick. <laughs> so against O'Keefe, McGrath's got it. Now Davies has snuck down onto the wing, well played, he can play on now. Towards half forward, Whitnell looking for his opponent and takes the mark. So five marks inside attacking 50 for Whitnell as he loads up from outside 50. It's close, the Blues in front. Craig Bolton with the job now on Lance Whitnell. Eddie Betts is back in the goal square. Favol is keeping out of it. He's way out at half forward, trying to drag Leo Barry out of the action. Swans are still going to do something about that and get him back into it, I reckon. Up towards full forward. Barry Hall meets as captain to try and impart something back onto the Swans. Dashing play by Buchanan and got the ball very quickly onto the chest of Adam Goods. Once kicked 40 goals in a season back in 2001, Adam Goods had nine goals, eight coming into today. And his first real scoring opportunity is a crucial one for the Swans and he nails it with authority. So we're going down to the wire here at the Telstra Dome. Jolly gets it down. Craig Bolton 
Now he can run from the congestion. Second bounce. Through defensive 50. No one coming at him. He can keep going, Craig Bolton. Oh, he could have kept going. He kicks to O'Loughlin, who's back at him, marks. Great stuff. Great kick. He's run probably 60, 70 metres carrying the at football. Least. And to be able to hit a man up the ground is one of the toughest things in football. And Mickey O'Loughlin was on the end of it. Really good decision making there. He could, probably could have carried the ball another 20 or 30 metres, but saw Mickey O'Loughlin had his man one on one, and that Luke Livingston had his back to to, uh, to play. Oh dear. So O'Loughlin uh, here to extend the Sydney lead directly in front shouldn't miss and doesn't. Going to Michael O'Loughlin, Luke Livingston is either coming off the ground or going forward. Well, dangerously, he's coming off the ground, which would leave them one short of the ball happened to go forward. It's uh, instead going into the Carlton attacking area with Oh, the magician! And now he's got to deal with a 50 metre kick, which is not usually a problem. And it's no worries at all for Lance. 44 for Carlton, 35 from the Swans. That's about their, roughly the average, I think, for a game, but. Uh, We've still got 11 and a half minutes remaining. Kirk trying to create some run. He's got the ball out in front of Ablett. Has to swing into the middle. Now there's some overlap for them here. Bolton Canelli. running off Whitnell. Canelli, he can bolt through the middle. Calls them on. Canelli's kick half run down. The small man need to work now. The look away from Buchanan. The deft touch from O'Loughlin wasn't so oh. deft, but boy, a mark and a possible one. Well, I thought it may have been 50 is the little wonder that Mush on O'Keefe that umpire Schmidt had gone to the ground. He couldn't see it. Just nine possessions for the day. His second goal beckons. And there was a little wobbly through the air, but it gets the job done. It's back to a two-goal game. Fatigue, just uh, as the reigning best and fairest, just struggling for confidence a bit at the moment, Sos. Oh, yeah. He, he's uh, no doubt this year hasn't been one of his best years, but one thing you know about David Teague, you'll have a crack. Kirk, across a check side kick towards the goal square. Well, perhaps could have marked. Jude Bolton and Canberra Rally. Jude Bolton, well done. He's got Hall in support. He's also got O'Loughlin to the goal square. Hall! Acute angle, but comes in and drills it. Boy, that would have been controversial. Nix has dived on top of it. Betts, it's still alive up forward for the Blues. Matthews, a hot ball. Cooter trying to take it. Can't. What about the Kirk's mother then? It was critical. You got Free kick. Hit front on too, Kirk. And it goes to the Swan, the Tyler Swan midfielder for his 21st possession. That was it there. And he certainly made the most of it, didn't he? Great smother. Well, he was hit too. No question about that, so Kurt just chips out wide. Mark taken by ball. And Sydney can perhaps just afford to retain possession here if they can, although Carlton have manned up pretty well. Called down to play on, so forced to just kick it long. Favola in good position, the marks comfortably, in the end uncontested. Kick towards half forward, out comes Waite, forced to spoil, Vogels, handball to Jude Bolton, now to Adam Goods who's run from half back, links the handball to Kirk, Kirk has got O'Loughlin, instead handballs, Buchanan from 30, runs in and kicks a goal. Eddie Betts. Craig Bolton's been very good. Canelli sweeps the handball to a nest of swans. Kirk, Nix. They jog it out of defence. Leo Barry has been taken out of the game in the second half by Brendan Favola. Back to Nix. Vogels is over the top and he uses him. Swans work it out pretty well. Now to Jude Bolton, who's done very well. Long to the goal square, Lachlan. Oh, that was too easy. Too easy. As he comes in from 20 metres and he pops it through. Through the middle. Morrell. 
nothing really doing. And uh, a touch of just going through the motions now. The Swans have got plenty of numbers back. Right to full forward. Favola with the nudge and the mark. Game certainly out of Carlton's grasp here, but he kicks accurately and kicks goal number three for the Blues. So the kick comes towards half forward. Jude Bolton's been fantastic. Yeah, good too. And he marks coming in for possession number 31. Yeah, you talk about putting your body on the line. This guy does it every week. Kicks out wide. Roberts Thompson done some good things. Been under pressure, though. You can, and that's it. A wonderful performance by the Sydney Swans. They've been under extreme pressure, Steve, right through the week. In fact, pretty much right through the season. But 18 goals, eight, a great return and a fantastic performance.